this is Francoise Von Trapp from 3D Insights. I'm here at Semicon West with Ludo Defirm of IMEC, and we're going to talk a little bit today about IMEC's latest programs. Um, Ludo, why don't you tell me what's been going so on? We're looking more to, of course, the high density 3D stuff next to what we call wafer level packaging. The high density means that you have the TSV, mm -hmm. and the TSV still causes some challenges because mm -hmm. in fact see you have a 5 micron wide mm -hmm. trench which is 25 micron to 50 micron deep mm -hmm. it's a lot of volume of copper okay yeah so you can understand if you do heat treatments on it it gives a lot of stress so we're still trying to I would say find a little bit of alternative schemes in order to reduce the stress in it. Okay. because the more you put together of these TSVs the more stress you're getting right? because you have much more volume per uh, all over your wafer, okay. so it takes time to solve these issues. The I thinning, that's better because okay. you know you have to thin back huh? mm -hmm. so that the TSV or the copper nail is exposed and also you can do copper-copper bonding or you can have a bonding with a small thin uh, bumps. So these mm -hmm. things, I would say they work with a little bit of underfill, okay. but they work. Most of the aspects are related at this moment to yield and reliability. Okay. And you know, that's always the last part of a technology development. So and you mm -hmm. see, you have then to develop things again mm -hmm. because you will not perhaps meet the right specs mm -hmm. for dense circuits mm -hmm. like memory on microprocessor or images mm -hmm. on logic, which are, in fact, you know, these are the main applications. Can you understand that for images or for memory, mm -hmm. uh, you need a lot of density mm -hmm. for DSVs. So there you, you have to develop something different what's available today for getting rid of the stress. I think we need to find some clever solutions. Mm -hmm. We can live with it, depending on the spacing between the TSVs, mm -hmm. depending on the densities. Mm -hmm. But I think for having the full densities for the future, mm -hmm. because now 3D is not really in practice today, not for the full densities, mm -hmm. we need some clever solutions. You're also working in the test area, the 3D test area. Yes, uh, as you know yourself, 3D is only working if you have a good known die, we have good test methodologies. We know how many problems there were in the past with good known die. And now, if you stack them before they can operate properly, then of course you have to be sure that the yield is still high. So you have to change your test methodology, implement much more test methodologies in the chips, because some of them will work separately, some of them they need the other stages of the layers. So. Um, I would say there is a lot of new development stuff going related to testing developers for the 3D.